This is Toledo Symphony Lab, a behind-the-scenes look at the world of classical music from WGTE Public Media and your Toledo Symphony. I'm Brad Cresswell. Joining me today are the Toledo Symphony's President and CEO, Zach Vassar, Principal Second Violin and Artistic Administrator, Merwin Sue, and the TSO's Marketing Director, Felicia Canny. But we have a very, very special episode today. I've even prepared a special fanfare. (laughs) We need that with trombones now. Yeah, we need more (laughs) trombone. More trombone. A little more cowbell as well. Why are we celebrating? Today happens to be our 100th episode. This is the 100th time that we've all sat around the microphones wow. and talked about it's one amazing. various thing or the other. Yeah, It we, seems like only yesterday that we, it was 99. Oh, <laughs> we, <wait. laughs> we made it to 100. We made it to 100. Wow. Now, you know, this is a milestone because like in t- in the world of TV, TV episodes, they say you got to have 100 episodes before you can go into syndication. Mm-hmm. So, hey, we're ready, baby. You know, you can you, we can run in perpetuity now at all hours of the day. Maybe they'll put us on me TV. What do you think? <laughs> no? You watch that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember that. <laughs> oh, blast from the past. Thank Not you. so distant past. That's Thank a you, blaster Tony. from the past. It yeah, is a blaster, blaster from, from the, the past. Mm-hmm. Very good. <laughs> anyway, so today is going to be what we call a clip show. You know, if you're not hip with the broadcast media <laughs> language, that means that we're going to be playing clips from prior episodes today. But we're going to try and do it in an interesting fashion. I have like a little quiz, and we're going to talk about previous episodes and favorite experiences so far. I mean, 100 different episodes, we have quite a lot of stuff to choose from. Um, I want to hmm. start... If we can. Well, first of all, does anybody have anything they want to reminisce about uh, doing this? I just remember the times? very... Hang on, hang on oh, Zach. Sorry, I got sorry. some music for you. Mm. Okay. I just remember the first episode. We had uh, Martha here talking about the Bach-Goldberg uh, variations. Okay, let me trio. let me cross off the first quiz question. Oh. <laughs> all right, go ahead. <laughs> No, I just remember. I, I remember where I was sitting. I think I was in the chair that Merwin is now occupied. What people don't know is that we all have kind of our designated chairs that we've fallen into. Oh, yeah. Um, and I just I remember having so much hope for what this series was going to become and what it would be like to have a podcast yeah. if anybody would listen. Yeah. Well, they're it's listening. Great. They're it's listening amazing. right now. It's amazing. I can't believe we're 100. Yeah. You know what, guys? You look great for 100. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of chairs, I remember the first time. Oh, hang on, time. hang on, hang on. Oh, I've, I've got music. A one? I've got music for you. It's a different memory lane for Felicia. Oh. There's oh, Felicia's memory music. <laughs> okay, go well, ahead. Well, I, I guess my first memory of being a part of the podcast, I walked into the room. I had no idea what I was getting myself into. And then I sat down, and then Zach said, That's my seat. <laughs> <laughs> wow. wow it was just hazing that's all <laughs> i love symphony it. lab hazing is Felicia, that it for your was, story what was your uh, first yeah. episode it was uh at the leslie odom jr like concert. the was that what you were talking about crossover or something like that or, or uh, the stage i think yeah the yeah. stage so that was maybe a month or so into the podcast. I think so, I think yeah. So, yeah. Well, I remember you, you know, I was you, a guest. you were like the Hamilton go-to yeah. yes. for that, uh, yeah. that so episode. Did it just start with Merwin and me? It did. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think so. We've grown. Our family has grown. That's wonderful. <laughs> That's so sweet. It is wonderful. And then you guys all had kids. <laughs> hey, hey, Merwin, uh, you have a little reminiscence you want to tell? Let me switch it up. Ooh. There you go. Sorry. I, w- I was actually very much looking forward to your musical selection. You And you nailed it, of course. That's right. so sneaky. Um, I know. It's perfect. <laughs> um, so I think the <laughs> moment I'm going to reminisce about is actually not within the studio, but um, uh, Felicia, Zach, and I, we were pulling into a parking lot at Amosteria, and then Felicia was like, the parking attendant recognized me. 
Oh yes, <laughs> what this is right on here. the podcast? And I was like, "Wait, did he recognize your voice or yes. what?" Oh, but I think I think we've talked to him before. Yeah, he's a he's a listener. He's probably listening right now. And wow. I just hello, thought, parking attendant. <laughs> from, um, I I mean, and I just thought that's just the most amazing thing. Yeah, and that that made me very happy. Totally, that yeah. gets a champagne pour. <laughs> wow, you're oh. really prepared for yeah. this. <laughs> very Definitely. cool. Definitely. Definitely. That sounds like the spinning of a roulette wheel, actually. <laughs> yeah, with lots of well, sand. <laughs> we've heard that before on this show. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to start out w- by uh, going to our resident thespian. I want to play a clip of uh, Bob Clemens because he's done so many cool little reenactments for us. Mm-hmm. So I thought it'd be fun to go back and listen to one of those reenactments. The first one he did was uh, Napoleon versus Beethoven kind of thing. But then he came back and did the West Side Story one. That was impressive. Yeah. That was great. Well, that's the one I have queued up. So let's listen to that. I'll leave the mics open while we listen to it in case anybody wants to add any comments. I should mention this was done in the style of Shakespeare, right? (laughs) Few households, both alike in dignity, in fair New York, where we lay our scene. From ancient grudge break to new mutiny, where civil blood makes civil hands unclean. And, and we all took part as well. <laughs> At which hour thou art a jet, thou art a jet all the way, from thy first cigarette to thy last dying day. <laughs> I purposely do, didn't do, sing. Do. <laughs> Maria. Maria. And we suffered for it. I've just half Maria. met a wench named Maria. <laughs> and suddenly your name shall never be the same to me. <laughs> nice tonight, finger snap. Tonight. Tonight. All begannest tonight. tonight. I did la, see thee, la, 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 and the ordinary la, wenteth away. <laughs> La, 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 just pretended la, to sing. La, 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 la. <laughs> you didn't have to tell us. <laughs> the jets no. aren't gonna hast their day tonight. The sharks are gonna hast their way tonight. Thou poisonous bunchback's toad, because <laughs> thou art a general offense. Thou art a boil. Wait, a here's the best one. Fine face is not worth sunburning. Thou lump of foul deformity. <laughs> Felicia, I hope you've used that elsewhere. They have I have killed not. Mine own brother. <laughs> Thy brother hath killed mine own best friend. Let's runneth away together. Yes, let's. <laughs> <laughs> Thither's a lodging for us. <laughs> That's my favorite Somehow. line. Someday. Someday. Bang. <laughs> Maria. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bloody hell. (laughs) (laughs) I think alongside the Wilhelm scream, there should now be the Clemens croak. The sun for sorrow will not show his head. (laughs) For never was a story of more woe than this of Maria and her Tony O. Didn't we have a name for the the players? I don't know. Maybe. It was like the OK Radio Players. Something, or something like, like that. that. Yeah. The good enough. Good the enough. just good yeah. enough <laughs> radio That sounds company. very Peter Shickley. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was fun. Bob, Bob Clemens. does such a good job. Yeah. He did all the voices in there, except for, you know, we did the little background singing and occasional sound effects here Yes. And there. Whenever it sounded like amateurs, that was us. <laughs> that was us. <laughs> <laughs> That was a lot of fun, though. Okay, well, let's launch into some more clips, and we'll we'll do this by way of what I'm calling the Magic Moments Quiz. And uh, so I'm going to talk about a particular episode, ask you a question about it, and then we'll play a clip for the answer or just to reminisce on it. So one of my warm-up questions was, you know, in our very first episode, what was the composer and piece we were talking about? (laughs) Zach already (laughs) answered that for us, Bach and the Goldberg variations. Uh, do you remember our Thanksgiving episode when we all chose personal theme songs? Do you guys remember yes, any of your? Do you remember Not your theme even song? Even remotely, <laughs> no. Vividly. You don't remember? Your th- yes. Okay, match the theme song with the person. I Saber think... dance. Saber oh, dance. Ooh, Who I was don't that? Know, that's Merwin. <laughs> no, that's not Merwin. Brad. Yeah. That was me. 
Thanks. Felicia got that. Oblivion by Oscar Piazzolla. Me. Well, you can't answer for your own. Oh. Hey, I'll she's leading anyway. in the quiz. Good, good for her. How about the entire Alpine Symphony? That's not me. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Who chose that, that one? That would be me, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh my God. It's a little. Uh, Egotistical, yeah. Mm. And of course, that leaves Merwin. My favorite of what? your choices was Secret Agent Man. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. That. You have I a chose t-shirt. that as at yeah at that at that music. That's yeah. Right. yeah, because you had a Mondegreen. You know what a Mondegreen is, where you mistake yeah, exactly. lyrics for a different. And what did you think it was? Secret Asian Man. Yeah, Secret Asian Man. Yeah, so. nice. I don't hide the secret particularly well, but <laughs> no, I don't think you can really hide that. <laughs> yeah. I first cool. heard you tell that story at a chamber concert. Oh, really? I have no idea what the lead-in was. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> I, think, I think you said that on the episode. Yeah? Yeah, I'm pretty sure you said that really? on the episode. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Wow, that is a vivid memory. Moving yeah. on. You have a t-shirt, right, Merwin? I do, yeah. This is the real quiz now. Oh. Okay. That wasn't? No, Darn. that was one. No, 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 no. Fel- Felicia, get, Felicia <laughs> well, gets Felicia, two okay. points. She's two points up. No, she gets one point for winning that one. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. We won our very first Touchstone Award from the Press Club of Toledo for Excellence in Broadcast Journalism for the episode with astrologer Janet Amid. Uh Aha. Do you remember what she said about our charts? Merwin, do you remember what she said about you? I I remember. Okay. (laughs) Well, let's listen in. <laughs> yeah. Merwin, you are Aquarius. you are born under the sign of Aquarius, which is significant with what you do for a living. I mean, you know, music and because ar- people that have your planets are usually in architectural work. They do architect architectural things. They love to design. Yours comes through your music. You have creative genius. I'll be honest with you. When I looked at your chart, I said, this man is extraordinary. And I'm not just saying that to make you feel, but I... You <laughs> That's have, what I say all the time, you're, actually. You have a genius. You, you have a very old soul vibration mm. to me. And I usually... And I looked at this and I went, holy moly. I mean, you, you have capabilities of doing anything. Teaching, directing, composing. You have all that in here. Now, now wait a minute. I'm, I'm sorry, but I thought we were talking about me. <laughs> you already figured out you have stomach issues. <laughs> Okay, Merwin's a genius. <laughs> Felicia and Zach have amazing and career have opportunities, <laughs> and I have chaos. <laughs> 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 <I'm sorry. laughs> At least it's classical <laughs> gas. <laughs> And Merwin, hey, that wasn't a bad line. Classical gas? How did I miss that? I, I don't yeah. remember that. Yeah. See, there are still gems to be culled from the the archives wow. of Toledo True, Symphony I did Lab. Not hear that. Yeah. Okay. That was a good episode. That, that was really fun. Was. All right. Here's one of what I know is one of Merlin's favorite episodes when we had William Eddins join oh, us. Oh, you you want to tell us who William Eddins is? Who's yeah. William Eddins? So William Eddins is the conductor laureate of the Edmonton Symphony Orchestra, and he was their music director. And he's an amazing pianist and conductor. And he came to the Toledo Symphony as part of our Festival of 88, and he was doing a uh, Mozart and Beethoven program, yeah. play conducting a Mozart. And, sure. and then we, we talked to him on the phone, and yeah. he did this wonderful impression. Who who was the uh, impression? Daniel, Daniel Barenboim. Boim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like your Barenboim, too. That was pretty good. <laughs> that was it's actually spot on. Daniel Barenboim. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was wonderful working with him for, yeah. for many years in Chicago. I don't really. think that I knew there were that many H's in his name. D A H N H I E L. There's really, really, really a lot of H's <laughs> really, really. In, in that name. Well, it's pretty safe to assume he's not going to listen to this, so we can make as much fun of him as we want. <laughs> Now's your chance, Bill. Well, someone's going to send him a link. You know it's going to happen. Gonna get We're going to get email. a call Bill. in on the listener line. Hey, Bill, what are you doing? Really, I want to know, huh? <laughs> I don't think we ever heard from Daniel Barenboim, though. Good. I just remember we went in some tangent. We talked about sports cars and craft beers oh, in yeah. that episode. Yeah. yeah, it was great. We changed the entire tone of the podcast podcast at least two or three different times he was during that conversation that was a lot of fun we've had a lot of great guest artists and we've had some like you know demonstrations here in the studio of various things that we've gone through Uh, see if you can identify this sound (laughs) oh that was oh yeah the tender yeah yeah, but what it, what instrument is this? Do you remember? This I is the thing try. that looks like the World <laughs> Series. Um, yeah. Yes. Right? Uh, Whoa. Yeah. Oh, what's, I don't know what it's called, though. It's called the water phone. Oh. 
Yeah. Can, can I water phone a friend? <laughs> yeah, but it was played with it a work. it was played with a bow, right? It was played with a bow, and then he also like tapped on it with different mm-hmm. things. It, it was Jordan Worth, right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, from the symphony, came in and demonstrated that for us. That was really cool. Sound. That was really yeah. cool. Yeah. Well, from the sublime to the ridiculous, we turn now to what may have been the one episode where we almost completely lost control uh, on the air. <laughs> <laughs> I really think there have been multiple ones. Yeah. Well, I every mean, time Michael Lang comes on. This every is time Michael Lang, well, whenever Sarah Jobin phones in. I yeah. That yeah. was really funny. Well, I, I'm going to do Michael Lang first, okay? I'm going to play Michael Lang's <laughs> clip first. And, and this is the one that, Zach, you had a friend who, who said that they swore that we were yeah. drunk <laughs> for the whole thing. <laughs> she was convinced that it was a New it was, Year's it was a New episode Year's. That was performed uh, live, but we yeah. had recorded it about two or three weeks in advance on a Monday De- morning. December. <laughs> okay. So here's one of the quiz questions, and I'm going to pick it up from there, but uh, this is the question. During medieval times, and this is a New Year's episode, <laughs> by the way, during medieval times, knights, that's K-N-I-G-H-T-S, had their own New Year's resolution in which they would renew their vows every year to uphold chivalry by placing their hand upon what bird? A phoenix, a swan, or a peacock? What do you say, Felicia? Phoenix, swan, or peacock? Swan. Okay, here's how you originally answered. The phoenix rising from the ashes, right? Yeah, but they had to place their head on a bird. <laughs> phoenix. No. I'm you kidding. know a phoenix is not a real bird. <laughs> I know. Gosh, Brad. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but wait, there's okay, more. So it's not the phoenix. <laughs> Peacock or swan? Use your scolding voice. <laughs> I adore Michael. Hopefully she really should scold right. more. It's not. It's <laughs> <laughs> I'm We're only one day into the new year. You're, you're already scolding me. <laughs> you broke that. You broke that resolution right there. I'm starting again. Okay. We shall have Swan clean bow or soon. peacock bow. Swan. Well, you don't get to guess again. <laughs> peacock. <laughs> peacock. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Good job, Michael. I knew you had it in you. And that, my friends, is the tap of difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the the peacock seems very. We wait for everyone else to fail. And <laughs> I know. You know, I wasn't figuring this out. I kept thinking the peacock, the peacock, and then I realized I had the peacock mixed up with a pigeon. I was thinking, I was no, thinking, no, no, no. The peacock has the feathers. Yeah, right? that's yeah, it's quite the, difficult. <laughs> don't tell. I, I would imagine. Uh, I just want to say that Michael is holding up a picture we, of a peacock. Well, we actually <laughs> saw this crossing the road in Michigan this really? last summer, and we're like, why is a peacock in the was there Street a knight chasing after him? <laughs> 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 it was actually Felicia. Was <laughs> and Merwin, you weren't yeah. on this one, right? Okay. Oh, we pigeon, can keep pigeon, her. Pigeon. <laughs> <laughs> it was scolding the pigeon. Though. Scolding yeah. the pigeon. <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving this place. Okay, oh, well. Here's the wholesome music again. We good thing you're leaving so because yeah. we're out of time. <laughs> 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 I just want to oh. wish a happy, healthy <laughs> new year to all of our listeners all three or four of you right now listening right now we, <laughs> wish, you a, we wish you a happy new year and also uh, good news for tapa lots of wonderful things on the horizon we hope that you can keep and all of your new year's resolutions as well my thanks to zach vassar merwin sue felicia <laughs> <laughs> i quit <laughs> screw you guys man. so many people walking out still thank you <laughs> Taking my pigeon and going. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's like a, a picture of Merwin. Like, oh gosh. <sighs> okay, well that does. <laughs> <laughs> that music I, I think, can't handle. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think our good radio is going down. <laughs> okay, well that brings the episode to a close. We want to wish everybody listening. However many of you that may be, (laughs) to have a wonderful, I almost said Thanksgiving. It's New Year's, right? Yeah, have a wonderful New Year's to you. Best of luck with all your New Year's resolutions. We were on top of things. Which is fine. We're at the end. It's all right. It's okay. My thanks to Zach Vassar and to Felicia Canny, as well as to our special guest, Michael Lang, for coming back and rejoining us. Thank you, Michael. There's your smattering of applause. Yeah. That's for you. See, wow. Merwin, you're always a part of this. Oh, things. my gosh. Yeah, the ghost of Merwin. <laughs> Man, that was ghost great. ghost of Merwin. I, I now understand why my friend thought we were we were waxed. <laughs> yeah. I love how much we laugh on this show. Yeah. And I need fun. to leave more often. That was great. <laughs> 
Yeah, well, you know, magical things happen in the but, studio, right? You know, you think about it, you know, we're supposed to be peeling back the curtain and looking behind the scenes at classical music, an art form that is, you know, revered and we put just up set on the a... curtain on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what just happened there? I was going to say, we knocked the pedestal over. So, same thing. <laughs> yeah. Close, close enough. <laughs> Well, let's move on with some more clips so we can fit them all in during the show. Um, (laughs) This one is about our kids. Remember when we had the kids come on? All Mm -hmm. of our children came on and and talked and sang and did stuff. Uh, What song did Merwin's son Kai sing for us? It's like the entire Star Wars. Yeah, didn't you speed it up? Actually, that's the harp. Kai is singing the harp part. Yeah. So who here, I know you guys don't have your violins, but who wants to sing a quick little song for us? We, already, <laughs> we heard Gracie play her kazoo, so we'll give somebody else a chance, and we can come back to you. Are you about me? You're up, Kai. Am I going to sing Star Wars? Star Wars. That's so cute. <laughs> 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 it's R2-D2. <laughs> that I mean, that did go on for like three minutes. <laughs> yeah. And we were very supportive. We were very supportive. Oh, yeah. I had to take Boy, Gracie out into the hallway. you Star Wars, you really sang Star Wars, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> he was very proud of himself for that moment. Yeah, that did go on for quite a while. Yeah. But it was very inventive. And, it was. and they were talking about music of the future and all that stuff and electric violins and yeah. all that. It was a fun, fun conversation. You know, we do a lot of different things here. Uh, speaking of Star Wars, of course, we won our second <coughs> Touchstone uh, Award from the Press Club of Toledo for our Star Wars episode, where we had Tony Geftis on as a guest. And we know he's a big Star Wars fan. He also did a lot of cool impressions for us. We heard that one earlier. Let me play it again. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> That's Tony actually doing his pew pew, right? <laughs> and we turned it into a sound effect for the uh, the board. He also did a good uh, a laser gun or a blaster, right? But mm-hmm. he also imitated a couple of other um, different characters from Star Wars. Do you remember any of the characters that he uh, imitated? Pretty sure Felicia remembers all of them. <laughs> she was, I'm squinting like that's going to help was me remember. She really up to speed on all Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. As we're about to hear. Um, one of them was Jar Jar Banks, and the other one oh, was yes, in right. this clip when we did like a quotations quiz where you had to figure out who said what. Let's let's listen in. <laughs> Time for our second quiz. This actually is probably a little bit harder. We'll see. We're going to test your your uh, <laughs> we're going to test your Star Wars knowledge on this. Let me just find some good music I'm just for back us. Away from the mic, then. <laughs> me too. <laughs> I think this one this one calls for the disco beat, right? Bring that up. Okay, this is a uh, a quotation quiz. I give you a quotation. You tell me who the character is. Extra oh credit gosh. if you can tell me the movie. Now this is Tony the, will win. The first one is easy. It's a trap. Who is that? Admiral Ackbar. That's Yay! Jedi. Yeah. It's a trap. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. How about it? That's easy. Okay, here's another one. Wow. Here's another one. This is easy too. Let the Wookiee win. Oh, you is that the? Um, I... Don't use your hands on the radio. Oh <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that C three <gasps> PO? Oh. Yeah. You yes. did it. Thanks, so Tony. <laughs> and, and that's actually in A New Hope, so you'll see it, right? Got You're going to be yes. at the concert, right, Felicia? Oh, yes. So I'm going to see this. It. Okay. Here's a slightly more difficult one. This is from the prequel prequel trilogy. That's hard to say. Prequel trilogy. <laughs> You're anyway. on radio, Brad. <laughs> Brad, you are a professional. I'm just going to use my hands for that one. <laughs> <laughs> He's holding up three okay. fingers. Yes. <laughs> Here we now go. He's just holding up one. <laughs> <laughs> we won't tell you which one. <laughs> Okay. Oh. <laughs> All right, man. I don't think we could have planned that to be. <laughs> no, that was better. like a magical episode. That was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, that was great. Admiral Akbar, of course, was the other impression that Tony did for us. There may have been a few other little impressions sprinkled around in there because Tony knows his 
Star Wars Inside and Out. I just remember that Felicia tried to like binge watch the entire series the day before. <laughs> Not the entire series. I watched the movie. I, the you one. did the same just thing the for one. Harry Potter. You like got halfway through the book. Uh, more like and page page you know one hundred and four something. <laughs> but do, I, yeah, I, mean, I think it's closer. It's definitely a two digit number. I mean, a couple yeah. of months before that podcast recording, <laughs> I was I was like, okay, yeah, I need someone who really really knows their, their Star Wars movies. And then I remembered a social media post that Tony had, and he had like little bobblehead figurines of all these Star Wars characters, and I was like, got it. <laughs> and then. <laughs> Now we're best friends, right, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, uh, <laughs> let's... He was really helpful. It, was that his first time on the show? He was I on think before. So. I think it was his first time. We had him on for something Star else. Star Wars, then. he was on for Harry Potter. Oh, Harry Potter. Yeah, that's after, what it was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because he talked about his book, The Heart Shaped right. Pox, on that's the Harry right. Potter episode. Okay. Let's turn to another clip now. This comes from our show that we did about It's a Wonderful Life. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And, of course, you know, mimicking the plot of the film, we came up with alternate histories for each of us, what what could have been, what might have been. And uh, I will play one of these now, see if you can guess who it is. I added a little music just to spice <laughs> it up a little bit. This self-proclaimed risk-averse person majored in actuarial Felicia. sciences in college <laughs> was president of the ASS. Know. <laughs> Wait, president of the ASS. Actuarial <laughs> Sciences Society. It's real. <laughs> I'm not going to touch that. And got a job right out of college working for Ernst & Young as an actuary. Driven to high achievement, this person passed all exams in six years and earned the highest designation, Fellow of the Society of Actuaries, FSA. On free time, this person hangs out with pet cats Fibonacci and Digit and enjoys <laughs> I was baking. Maybe even sleep baking. Oh. oh you just had your second Anybody daughter. Know who it is? Right? That's right. Do we even have to guess? I, I would go for Felicia on this one. So. Yes. <laughs> now, didn't you say that your daughter Mira was like... And then at the end, you have to add the dinosaurs came and everybody died, or they ate everybody, or something yeah, like that. That's yeah, that's right. I don't know why <laughs> why that happened, but <laughs> yeah, I think we should add that like to the end of every story that it's, we tell. It's funny because I would I told that story to about the dinosaurs coming. No, no, no about, no, about, about actuary yes. Felicia. Uh, about actuary <laughs> is, Felicia. Is that, is that your action figure name? <laughs> actuary <Yeah>. Felicia. <laughs> it's a superpower. <laughs> but it was, I use that it's as like a bedtime love. It was a bedtime story. Yeah, that was so definitely, riveting. Yeah, it definitely it put your kids to it, sleep. It did. It was wonderful. Wow. Did it work? Yes, it worked wonderful. Good. Wow. I'm glad. Did they know, what, did they know what an actuary wow. is? No, I described okay. it in vivid detail. Uh, okay. <laughs> I don't feel so bad because I, I wasn't quite sure myself. But you were saying that you got, you have a, a t shirt with ASS on the back. Yes, they printed back when we were back uh, in college in Actuarial Science Society. <laughs> um, they printed T-shirts, red T-shirts, and they had no logo or anything except ASS on the back. Wow. Are you, were you president of the whole ASS? No, no, I was a <laughs> member, and then I uh -huh. quit. You worked your way up. Uh -huh. <laughs> I salute you. Okay, excellent. You remember when we would occasionally do Ask a Land episodes, we would ask him different yeah. questions? And um, what did uh, Elaine say that you need in order to play the trombone? You remember this? A trombone. Mouthpiece. Well, yeah, you need both of those, but what <laughs> else do you need? Here, let's find out, shall oh, we? Oh, okay. We did not remember this vividly. <clears throat> okay, this is an audio daily double. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, comes from, this comes from Felicia's daughter, Mira, who has a question Can I buy you. a vowel? <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what this is. Here we go. Do you need big legs to play trombone? <laughs> Aww. We, we have lots of trombones at home. Let me just give show us your, listeners show us your a lips. Show context. us your lips, Elaine. <laughs> give us a nice trombone <laughs> armature. Yeah, I don't know. They're pretty substantial. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean that in a good way. <laughs> um, I, I don't know, actually. I mean, uh, 
for me it seems to work uh, <laughs> I have some colleagues that have a little bit you know less but you know it's <laughs> I don't know what to tell you they're I mean, quite as well yeah. endowed well, the, the lip the, area well the thing that you do need lips that, that, that's for sure <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this Imagine is a musical be, insult waiting to yeah, be created it'd be hard to play without lips that's true <laughs> okay well we've established you need a trombone, a mouthpiece, and you need lips. We were right? getting closer to the answer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You were inching your way up <laughs> yep. to the answer. I've only got a couple left, and I'm <clears throat> I'm kind of torn a- as to which one of these to play first or to save for last. I-, I think the sort of the second runner-up will be this piece de resistance, right, as far as clips of prior shows go, because the other one is sort of a, a, a behind-the-scenes, behind-the-scenes clip that's never, ever been heard before. It wasn't included in a show. So well, we'll save that for last, but we'll go to this one next, and you'll probably recognize it. One of the fun facts that I did not say uh, about Schubert was that one of his favorite party <laughs> tricks was to play his songs on a comb with paper in it. So it was like, you know, an 18th century Viennese kazoo kind of thing, or early 19th century. But, uh, yeah, we handed out kazoos. Everybody picked their favorite color. And so in the spirit of Schubert, uh, we are going to continue with our unfinished quiz, but we're going to have an un-unfinished quiz. So see if I can make this as confusing as possible. (laughs) What's what's going to happen is you're going to hear the first part of a well-known piece of music. It's going to stop. Right? Like musical chairs stops, it's going to stop, and then you have to complete it on the kazoo. You have to play what the next part is. Can we do a tutorial first? Well, yeah. I, I will give you an example, okay? No, I, I meant uh, A how tutorial to on how to play the kazoo? <laughs> okay. Uh, try to hum yep, into first it. First, you have to loosen mm-hmm. your necktie. See if you can hum into it. I know I'm not <laughs> trying to blow through it. <laughs> Just hum. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now open your lips, put it in there. Mm-hmm. There it is. Okay, okay, now, here's an example. Listen up. I'm going to play the first part of a piece of music. <laughs> Listen to see if you know this one. So. <laughs> I will never be able right? to respond to any of these. Let's, no, we'll try it. Try to play it. Wait. <laughs> The nice actually, thing is, is that actually, I have to say you were wrong because that was not Mozart. That was PDQ Bach. <laughs> Get it? I like so it. There, there are a few little twists and turns. Very nice. Here and there. I but just want everybody who's listening to know that Felicia is trying so hard. <laughs> you didn't see this one coming, did <laughs> <with> you? <laughs> okay, keep going. Keep going. It, okay, here we go. So we're in the actual quiz now. I have, I'm going to do three examples and I'm going to assign them to, to each one of you to have to do this so we don't have a kazoo free-for-all, right? <laughs> and, and these are all by members of the, that first Viennese school. So we're talking <laughs> Mozart, Haydn, and Beethoven. Beethoven right. also. So. Okay, Beethoven. so we're going, to start with, we're going to start with you, Felicia. Oh, my gosh. Okay, you ready? <laughs> this should be pretty easy. Here's your, here's your clue. <laughs> Anticipation. What comes next? On the kazoo? On the kazoo, yeah. Oh, gosh. Um, Just try it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I, oh, Felicia, you know, I'm so sorry to have to play that clip at your expense, but it is really one of the funniest things. Oh, it is. We had, a, we had a concert recently uh, with the exact same piece, and the hall was dark at the Valentine, and it, you know the orchestra started playing, and then I I had like PTSD or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's PDQ. And PDQD. then I I saw uh, I I knew where Zach was sitting, and then all of a sudden he slowly it, he slowly turned around and looked at me. Oh my god! And I thought oh, he remembers. <laughs> That is fantastic. It was one of the greatest moments of like anticipation. Yeah. And then <laughs> the joy that came with this sort of like wispy hissing. <laughs> <laughs> Felicia, you've been an amazing sport through this though, because yeah. I know we've poked fun at this a lot. 
and uh, the number of kazoos I think I bought you as, as <laughs> a present. Um, I, I thank you for being such a good sport. And I do have to say to everybody who's listening, Felicia did learn how to play the kazoo. Yes, there is a the, picture or a video of you and Brad Beatles at the concert. Beatles concerto yeah. playing kazoos together. That's right. I was there. I think I took the video. You may have. Yeah. I just yeah. remember Felicia saying that you kept telling her, this is happening. I can't believe this is happening. Yeah. I was like, Brad, I need your help to distribute hundreds of kazoos. And you're like, oh my God. This is really happening. Yeah, it was fantastic. <laughs> it was like Kazoo Palooza. We, we did Obladi on Kazoo. Yeah. Yeah. Wonderful. Just one of the many ways that the symphony connects with its uh, <laughs> listeners as well. Well, I want to finish out the program today with a very special clip because this is something that has never aired before. Occasionally, you know, we, we do have to trim here and there when we're pre recorded, and occasionally we do some laughing. And occasionally it gets a little bit out of control, so we have to go back and do things over again so that we can put them on the air. And that was the case when we did a Christmas episode and we brought Sarah Jobin on, Aww. remember? You, you caught it all? <laughs> and, and brought her on by phone. And I didn't know you still had this. <laughs> and, and for some reason we had the giggles oh and just gosh. could not get it? through huh. the beginning of it. Uh, let's listen. <laughs> I added music, too. Hello? Hi, Brad. It's Sarah Jobin. Hi, Sarah. How are you? Good. Every- How are you? <laughs> I'm doing well, thanks. We're in a little bit of a giggly mood here. We were talking Hi, about... Oh, you can tell it's my laugh. <laughs> <laughs> we're just going to start over from, like, bringing you in, okay? So okay. I'll say hello. Right, I'll say... I'll say hello, and you'll say, hi, it's me, <laughs> Santa. <laughs> right? I don't even know why Moment I'm of laughing. silence. <laughs> okay, moment of silence. <sighs> Shake it off. There we go. Okay. Hello? Hey, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try again. Okay. Hello? <coughs> Hi, Brad. <laughs> we just answered the phone again. Okay, here we go. Hello? Okay. Hello? Hi, Brad. It's Sarah Jobin. Let's try it again. Hello? <laughs> Hi, Brad. It's Sarah Jobin. <laughs> Hang on. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> It took that long. It was like a half hour of saying oh hello. We- I think we finally got it after you left. And <laughs> I just remember I could not look at you, Brad, because yeah. there was something where, you know, you would you would just give me a look and I just would lose it all over again. And there was oh. a little bit of a delay because we'd say hello to Sarah and then there'd be this little tiny pregnant pause. Yeah. And, we and that was enough lose. to just make you lose it right there. Wait, did you go back further and oh, figure out like why we were laughing? I don't remember it. I well, we talked about all different kinds of things. We were oh, talking yeah. about like Zach's Christmas traditions, and <laughs> the conversation gravitated somehow to ass pick, which we thought was very funny. <laughs> <laughs> so is it all coming back to you now? Zach? Yes, it is. I don't yeah. remember yeah. that at all. We were talking oh. about fruitcakes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah, interesting. All kinds of uh, crazy stuff. You know, the typical conversation you have before you're going to discuss the Messiah. Exactly. Well, that was a behind-the-scenes <laughs> look at our behind-the-scenes podcast broadcast <laughs> of uh, what goes on with classical music at the symphony. Uh, 100 episodes, you know, that is certainly cause for a celebration right there. Hopefully there will be a 100 more down the road. Um, that's about all the time that we have for the show today. Don't forget you can listen to all the episodes that we've done so far. All 100 episodes are posted online at our website at wgte.org slash lab. You can also find us through Apple or Google Podcasts or pretty much anywhere that you can get your podcasts. This program is a production of WGTE Public Media in collaboration with our sponsor, the Toledo Symphony, with generous support from the Rita Barber Kern Foundation. Don't forget to check out all the upcoming events at the Symphony by visiting their website at ToledoSymphony.com and their various social media outlets on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. My thanks to Zach Vassar, Merwin Sue, and Felicia Canny. I'm Brad Cresswell, and this has been the 100th episode of Toledo Symphony Lab on FM 91.